Whoa, we're going, we're going, we're going. <laughs> So I just showered. I did some of my emails. I'm gonna put this oil in my hair. It's vanilla nourishing oil. I don't know, it smells like watermelon. It's really lightweight because I have really thin hair. But I showered before my workout class because I just got an email about a casting for a Samsung commercial. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm gonna test out. I got sent this bag of new makeup from Merit Beauty. Look how cute this little pouch is. Really like it. So I'm gonna test out some of the products and I will link them below. I have no idea what is in the bag and what I'm gonna be testing out, but I'm gonna do my makeup for the video using those products. Okay, there's a lot of goodies in here. Cute little blue packaging. I don't know if there's a primer, so I might have to use my own. This is tinted lip oil, complexion stick, a highlighter, blush. The complexion sticks, I didn't know what shade I was, so I ordered two of them. What's this, more blush? Blush balm, cheek color. Oh my God, Louis is howling in the other room. And mascara. Okay, so I need primer. I usually go for this one. You can buy it like on Amazon or at like those makeup artist beauty stores. It smells so fresh and good. As you can see, my skin is very broken out right now. I just started a new birth control. I don't know if maybe that's it, but let's open up these Merit Beauty Perfecting Complexion Sticks. This one is in shade Cream. This one is in shade Dune. Oh, I like the coloring of it. It's really cute. So this is the Dune one. Let's just match it on my skin. It's pretty, pretty accurate, honestly. I would be shocked if the other one matches better. I'm just gonna kind of put it all over, even though it's probably like spot foundation because it feels a little thick. Oh, and then you use the other end to twist it up. It's kind of like a lipstick twisty concealer. I would definitely say this is, yeah, it's a complexion stick. So probably not an all over foundation. Let's see the cream shade. This is better. Honestly, they're really similar. I can't tell the difference applying it. So if you have a skin tone similar to mine, you could honestly go with Dune or Cream. I picked the ones that were like right next to each other. I was just worried about it being orange and I'm just gonna buff it out with this hourglass brush. Louis. This is working really well. Very full coverage. I like the smell. It smells expensive. Nice even coverage. Okay, what's next? Blending brush. Oh, I ordered a brush as I'm using a different brush. This is exactly what I was just using. <laughs> Merit's blending brush. Literally the exact same thing as the hourglass one I was using, but just Merit's one. But I really like that brush. If you need to get one, you get this one. And then we want probably this cheeky Minimal Beauty Flush Balm in color cheeky okay i feel like blush has made such a comeback oh my this is such a cute little container look at it reminds me of like childhood lipstick cheeky so i think i saw this one on the website and i thought it looked a good balance between dark and light oh yeah this is a really pretty color wow this matches my skin tone really well i'm not really sure how to put blush on your nose but i just went for it so i just dabbed that on and I'm gonna buff it out with my buffer tool. Nice little blend. Oh, and my sports bra is from Aloe if you like it. I can link that for you too. All right, next we have highlighting balm in the shade Bounce. Ooh, this is white. Kind of cute how they all like match. I like the color scheme going on. Oh, this is so pretty. I need something like this. Look at this little highlighter stick. I kind of like that it's all like stick makeup in a sense. I'm just gonna put it above my cheekbones, tip of my nose, bridge of my nose. I'm gonna go for the eyelids and above my lips. So it's really soft. Wow, I really like this. Highlighting balm. Beautiful! I'm gonna buff it in real quick. 
mascara and lip oil is what I have left. So this is Pink Beat. Oh my God, it's so cute. I like this, that looks nice. Ooh, okay, I love this. This is my favorite product so far. It's like, looks like it would be matte, but it has like the oil in it, so it's still like soft and creamy. Yeah, if I would say so far, this is my favorite product. And I really like the color I got, Pink Beat. This is really nice. And I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. Okay, and I'm gonna apply the mash, mash, <laughs> the mascara in perfect black. Ooh, this is pretty. This looks elegant. Please be a good one. Some mascaras just like don't cooperate with my eyelashes. Oh, I like that this is a light daytime one. It's definitely not like a heavy night mascara. This is a good day work, light everyday one. I like the clumpier, thicker ones for like going out. These lighter ones work great for daytime and not looking like you're overdoing it. All right, there's that, I love it. I'm not gonna put it on the bottom because I don't want it to get smeared. And then the only makeup thing I'm gonna use that's not uh, Merit is Kevin Aquan, this eyebrow felt tip marker in Burnett. I have had so many friends come over, use mine, and then they go to Saks or wherever it's sold. It's not at Sephora, not at Ulta. I think you have to go to Saks or like Bloomingdale's to get it. But Kevin Aquan felt tip marker or online at their site, I can link it for you. So nice. Like my eyebrows are microbladed, but it still makes such a difference. Like look at the strokes being drawn in. I'm trying to get really close for you guys, you can see. So it's the felt tip on the one side and because my eyebrows are microbladed, the gaps sometimes come in and it does the nicest job filling in those gaps. Like you can definitely see the difference without it being like too much. And I definitely like a darker eyebrow look, kind of like Summer McKeegan with the lighter hair even though my hair is not light anymore. But I do like darker eyebrows. It makes your features really pretty. All right, so that's my makeup. I'm gonna just spray it. Some hourglass setting spray. Bail, and I'm gonna blow dry my hair. My hairstylist Tori recommended I buy this blow dryer. This like smooth blowout kind of gives you like the look, or you can blow it like away. I've pulled semi waves through it before, but I was like, how are people blow drying their hair like that? I need to get the Dyson, and she was like, no. Just buy the dry bar one, it's like a hundred bucks. And I love it. I'm like happy I didn't buy the Dyson because I feel like with such thin hair, you know, there's only so much I can do with it. And this one's like, this blow dryer is not as damaging either as like the other ones like it. The Dyson's obviously the best for damage, but I think as long as you put some heat protectant in your hair, you're fine. But I really like this hair dryer. And I feel like if you read the reviews on it, it gets pretty high reviews too. I feel like a lot of people I've been seeing use it lately. Also I saw Emma McDonald using it and I was like, oh, I love her YouTube. So, if she uses it, it must be pretty good. All right, I am cracking up. I just finished filming my self-tape for Samsung and they literally were like, okay, pretend that you discovered a TV in the middle of the street and then spin around with your eyes closed and then open them like it's interstellar, but don't have your mouth open. And I kept filming it and then noticing my mouth was open, having to redo it. Hopefully that works out because it would just be cool to be in like a TV commercial. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. I just sent the tape over. I am heading out to go to TJ Maxx to look for some wrapping paper and then I'm gonna be going to my berries class. I'm wearing a full aloe outfit, my APL shoes, and then my wild one treat pouch as a purse. I think it's cute. And then when I get back, he thinks we're going now. When I get back, we're gonna go to the dog park and run around. All right, package secured. Got the goods. I only found one roll of wrapping paper that I liked though, so I'm gonna have to check out Target or something. 
and I might drive back to this exact place after my berries class just because I'm running late on time and I have to get to my workout class and I have 10 minutes to get there and this just scared the hell out of me. Oh, don't be sad. I love doodles. Oh my god. That was great. Jingle bell, bell, bell.